we, you know, get the Scion train skin or the Transformer skin or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't want to call it. Be like a big old truck. Um, but I really want to see a Rise Ultimate started. <laughs> it's just I'm not well versed in the shrine. Someday, face checking the brush. Rain over here, waiting for him. Tries to use the ulti to get himself away, right. but Rain over popping the flash to interrupt that immediately. The CC coming down. Someday trying to flash over the wall, get himself out here, but not today. Ooh. The first blood for who he, the smooth escape. Right, little rocket in the butt. As over the wall goes rain over, it's a full on 2v2. Ryu gonna be in some trouble here. Stunned up, locked down, more damage from Huhi. Valkyrie forward, trying to get the damage down to Ryu here. Biofrost coming in, flashed into stun, and Huhi's got the kill. Two shot barrage coming through just to make sure, but they don't need to stop. Exactly. I'm okay with that. I'm okay. If he would have just cast that, turned into a golden statue, and got away, uh uh, but that, that was all skill. Stick safe. Now might be in some trouble. Pops his own golden statue, trying to get away from this one, but a very oh, nice buddy. ulti. Meteos bonks him with the jack stick. And now can they find another? Biofrost flashing his way over the wall, trying to get out from this one. The blast cone's gonna be taken by both him and Cody. The stun won't hit the mark. He's all out of summoners and all out of time. Cody's son grabbing the kill. Yeah, he does get the kill in the end. He jumbled a little. Top lane, they've got three members. They can push this one down. Then they can transition over to mid. And once you get this full outer ring of turrets advantage, that's 100 See a team do as soon as all three of those outer turrets go down. Whoa. Set the vision up, but rain over. Coming here into the mid lane, looking to stop these guys. Videos on the front line, jumping backwards with the counter strike. Rise ulti, gonna take him a portal out of there. Afro Moon, nice. He's baiting. See if he's baiting too hard, though. Cody wants to get out of this one. Instead, the stun finds its way onto Afro Move. Not enough tricks in the book to get him out this time. Yeah. 30 seconds on the death timer. CLG pushes up. Cody's son had a nice little hop and turn around ult from Triss to get out, but Afro Move, no such case. Sean takes quite a lot of damage there from the turret and from his opponents. Hunter Thief looking to hold this one, but can't quite do it. That's CLG's first turret this game. Brings it back. Which, even though Scion doesn't do a lot of magic Orbot. damage of his own, yeah, he's an Aurobot, old school style, but whoa. Ooh. Afro move, not having a good time on that one. Cody Sun, now under threat from Huhi in the one versus one there. Doesn't play Skarner only. <laughs> Definitely uh, thematic. Yeah, Skarner doesn't have any damage. Uh, you know, static Shim is already done for Corky as well. Oh, here we go, All once right. again. Starting off, but Afro move is going to be caught right there at the start. Stixa going to be taken very low here. Not quite going to die the explosive charge, CLG. Still looking to make some more moves. Meteos, Counter-Strike up and running, but it's Ryu who's going to be in a bad spot, having to flash away. Stun comes through. Biofrost looking to lock him down, but he will not have the damage in time. CLG ends up walking away one for zero on that fight. Yeah, the that Baron, was... CLG, not anywhere nearby. Not yet the secure from Meteos. And the reason they went for this rush, they had the timer on sending our... your Nar bottom and giving a vision of a teleportless champion when the other team could even a different team. <laughs> think now that Skarner's popular? We're gonna be a Star Guardian Scar. Never mind, we're gonna have an engage. Rain over. Looking to maybe lock down Cody Sun. Takes it very low. Tarek Ulti coming through. CLG looking to make this fight happen even further. Medios nearly dead. Who he trying to make the moves does end up securing that kill. Turret goes down though. Darshan actually the one to grab that. And so far, I believe this game, it's been 100 Thieves who have had the better rotation, who have played better around the map as they're able to find the stun onto Huhi. Rain over, looking to move in, maybe find some CC here. Ooh. But very nice ulti from the bar, gonna be removing a lot of the effect of that Tarek ult. As CLG's gonna lose one right at the outset, Biofrost gonna make it two. Someday still looking to lock down even more. The Rise ulti comes in, Darshan gonna be CC'd up a little bit here. One more auto attack, will not be able to find him in time, but CLG in full retreat with the three remaining members, health bars, blinking red. Aphromoo gets a little revenge there in the form of a team fight victory, and that is also gonna be in the form of an inhibitor turret going down, probably the inhibitor soon to follow. 6A comes out to try and answer though. CLG need to try to hold this line as long as they can. That bottom lane inhibitor is the one that you want to lose the least of all. Darshan landing the boomerang onto Ryu, but it's still a three versus five. CLG, you gotta be careful about these things. There comes the Scion Express, but Sunday <laughs> ends up giving a killing spree over to Keep the inhibitor up though. And now it's another fight and another catch onto Aphromoo. Death number four this game, Kobe. Champion and a uh, great target for picking out. He's a little bit less squishy than normal. He has an ice point. We were looking so heavily at the macro has now become so close because these teams have gone blow for blow. It's coming down to the micro. Let's see how they play it out now. The stun in the lockdown. 
the Bard ulti to buy some time for someday. He pops the shield, he's still gonna be taken out. Sticks A grabbing the kill on that one. CLG looking to kite themselves back until the dead body goes away. Package delivered straight into the river. They're about to time out, so they can't really get any more use out of that one. Moving towards the Infernal Drake. CLG sees an opportunity, but at the same time, you've got to respect that Baron will be spawning only five seconds from now. 100 Thieves showed they could rush it already. You don't want to give him that opportunity a second time. Instead, who he solos down Infernal. Now all of CLG can work together here. Who he coming up over the wall. He's trying to grab something. Up. And now with the extra man advantage, they're starting up the Baron, forcing 100 Thieves to come to them. All right, the Thieves have to try to fight this one. Video's gonna be forced away by Huhi there. A lot of damage coming out from the Corky. Someday gonna use the TP, working his way in. Baron down the 2K. Video wants in to look to be able to steal this one out. Can he do it? No! Six A on a killing spree there as 100 Thieves cannot stop the Baron. Scion trying to get himself away. Rise will take the portal. Ryu and Someday both getting away from that one, but it's CLG's day. Everyone took their own route home. Bard. Oh, actually oh. re-engage. Okay. 100 Thieves still looking to make the moves. It's Afro move that sets up the stun. Darshan goes down here. Two fantastic moves from the 100 Thieves support. 100 Thieves not letting CLG get away without an answer there. What a re-engagement from Afro. Some Vin Diesel speech stuff right there. If you win by an inch or you win by a mile. Yeah. Oh, CLG going for an furious. But Afro move dodges it this time. Cody's son gonna be taken low, but who he dying to the crit. Can they find anything else? Darshan gonna be locked up now. The counterattack from the thieves is full force. Furious Afro move. Grabbing the kill onto Biofrost. There comes your portal. Stixe running for dear life, trying to get away from the five-man collapse. Ryu, Cody's son, Afro still in hot pursuit. Cody <laughs> wanting to go over the wall here. Can he find anything? Yeah, he's finding his buddy Darshan over here to lead him the way through the forest to the other side. Hunter, take my hand, I'll show you the way. Facing him. Someday, still after this one, Darshan gonna be bound up in the rune prison. Destiny oh, not quite finding the mark. Ryu still trying to chase so after. Lose their jungler there. Would have almost certainly been giving away Elder Drake if they did. CLG has priority over the Elder Drake area. Now looking to make a play maybe once more. Rainover has the ulti yet again. Someday locked up. Unstoppable as he tries to escape. 100 Thieves got to be careful with this one. CLG having the advantage for now. Afro Moon not landing the stun. Yeah, 100 Thieves are taking a beating here. The health bars are definitely in the advantage of CLG, but no kills have landed, and you still have to respect the damage possibilities from them. Someday does have his War Mods. Heals right back up on that Scion, even though he had to use his ultimate and won't be able to get the cooldown back. This is just... Back and forth and back and forth and so many engage attempts, but the top lane, the top lane being pressured by the minions. The minions are more objective focused in this game than the teams themselves. <laughs> minions have been pushing top and bottom for both teams, trading turrets. Another inhibitor turret about to fall here on the bottom side. This one for CLG. The minions doing work while all the players are trying to five on five. Minions MVP. The players are marching down mid lane to fight each other. The minions are the ones split pushing. Everything's topsy turvy this time around. Another rain over ulti. This time finding its way onto Afro Moon. That's your kill. Way easier to kill him than it is to get someday. Darshan, Meganar finding nothing. 100 Thieves now four versus five. Elder, live. Baron, live. CLG. Someday. Looking to grab someday Not here. Live. The stun, yeah. <laughs> he ain't live no more. Sticks A grabbing the kill onto him. The passive not gonna do a lot right here. CLG now deciding where they want to go with this one. They've got themselves 28 seconds until Afro moves back up. 100 Thieves might be baiting a trap right now. Who True he? Shot Barrage comes out if they get who he. That's gonna be real big. 100 Thieves still having a chance to stop this momentum. It never ends, Kobe. It never ends. Six A low on mana. Already popping the arcane shift. Medios. Can't quite find a Counter-Strike, he doesn't need it. The Rune Prison on the mark. Stix A still looking to run away. Meteos has another stun, ready to go. Not quite gonna be finding it just yet. Stix A on the run. Meteos on the retreat, nearly brought down. Oh, hundred Thieves in the end are gonna claim it. They rushed it down once, why not do it? All right, now they're gonna be empowered Penguins with the oh, extra Elder Dragon Burn, baby, burn. Back wave, heading for another turret. So 100 Thieves, they just wanna ram this inside the base and finish it. Battering Ram finds its way onto the inhibitor, but not any further. Still not willing to go for any kind of a crazy engage just yet. We'll get Stixay to force out the Arcane Shift. 
Meteos getting a little bit of damage there. Onto the end hit, the stun comes down, finding its way onto Meteos, but it's going to be Rain over in the front line, taking the brunt of the damage for now. Derek ulti out is a massive cooldown. Very well played by 100 Thieves. They know they've got the minions working for them, and they kite out the Terek ultimate. Now they just have to finish off the inhibitor. 100 Thieves playing the macro game right, being aware of where the minions are. Baron, so it's getting burned down. Baron going down very quickly. Meteos are oh, he steals it! 100 Thieves with a very important steal away. Cody Sun grabbing a kill, a double. Who he might just be the triple. Oh More damage God. coming through. The shutdown is there, but 100 Thieves performing the heist of a lifetime. They will take down CLG off the back of that. It only takes one thief to steal the purple, and 100 thieves are gonna be able to take that Nexus right afterwards. After that entire game, the climactic steal here ends up in an ace and a victory. What a showing from 100 Thieves on a micro perspective, on a macro perspective. They outplayed CLG and deserve this win. Woo. And for Afro Moo, this is revenge.